Hi everyone, this is Thomas Live, and in today's video, I'm going to be talking about how to set up heists and how they will work. Now, with that being said, be sure to hit that sub button because I upload daily GTA 5 videos two times a day. So, welcome back to the Dom is Live 2 channel, and once again, today, I'm going to be talking about Heist. As you guys know, Rockstar has just released the brand new official Rockstar Heist trailer. So, if you guys want to go see that, be sure to click the link. There's going to be a link in the description as well. There's going to be an annotation on your screen. You guys can click that too. How does a Heist work exactly? Each Heist requires four players all at rank 12 or above, with one player as the design Heist Leader. Leading a heist requires owning a high-end apartment so that you have a room available to set up the planning board. From there, you are able to launch missions as the leader, starting with the prep work and building up the score itself. Being a heist leader has its advantages and disadvantages. On the upside, Lester contacts the leader directly when there is news of a job and it's up to the leader to invite players into the crew, assign positions, pick outfits, and allocate each player's cut. On the other hand, the heist leader will need to personally front the setup costs in order to successfully pull off the heist. So that's pretty cool. There's going to be some advantages and disadvantages of being a heist leader. You must have a high-end apartment, but who doesn't have that? But as well, you must have the money up front to participate in the heist. So let's move on to the next thing. Unlike the leader, the other crew members get a cash payout each prep mission, while the leader won't receive their cash until the finale is complete. Switching between the roles of crew members in High Seater will give the players a total different experience. And we had to make sure there were some real incentives for playing each position so that players would see every aspect of how Heist comes together and not just want to stick to the same role each time. Some missions have all players working as one unit, some require players to take on specific tasks like hacking or crowd control, while others require players to split into smaller teams to complete separate high-end objectives. For example, one player may be stealing a getaway car from some gangsters while another team is attempting to sneak into a police station. All within the same prep mission, we really want to push the co-op aspect to make players feel like they need to communicate effectively and work together to pull off each element. So once again, I'm loving what Rockstar is doing with online heists. I love what they're doing with the advantages and disadvantages of being a heist leader. Because as you guys know, that's going to be the person that's going to control all the money. So what Rockstar is doing is they're evening out the playing field by forcing the heist leader to have the upfront money to pay those other players before the heist mission even starts. So that's cool. And once again, I'm disappointed that heists are going to be released early 2015 when Rockstar did state to us that heists were going to be the next update. Update. I guess that's going to be another video and I'll dive more into that and there's going to be a huge rant. So anyway, you guys have a great day. This is Thomas Live. Be sure to let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section below. Make sure you guys hit that sub button. If you are new to my channel and if you guys are an old subscriber of my main channel, hit that sub button on Thomas Live too. Later guys.